Alright boys, what up there guys, this is Corb and welcome to a little bit of Do Wars action. This one's spectating a game here from Mr. Cicero, all the way from the Dark Brotherhood, man. How about that? Now, we're spilling some cost control specialist action here. Dude, I, did, I, I, I started recording a little bit too late here, dude. Look at this formation, dude. What is this? Like, I swear this is so vulnerable to, uh, to sentry missiles, you know what I'm saying? Like, generally speaking... Oh god, I don't know, you don't want to blob your guys up too much like this. Also, what is the- hang on. Yeah, we purchased the first rank of defense enhancement right away on round one, dude. I kinda love it, I kinda love the balls. These crawlers here are gonna run straight into building, which is always really, really tight. It's gonna speed this up just a wee bit. Oh my god. Building's dropping extremely quickly, and you know what, man? These steel balls are gonna get to farm a whole lot of XP now, though there aren't any real big tigers for them to guess chow down on. It's going to be a little bit of a landslide win here for poor Cicero. On turn one, dude. Now, I tell you what, the Cicero memes, I'm going to stop them right there, man, because if anybody hasn't like played out Skyrim and maxed out the, the Dark Brotherhood question all those years ago, you'll have no idea who Cicero is or any references that I'm making. So I'm just going to nip that in the bud right now. <laughs> okay, man. Poor Cicero <laughs> gets wrecked. First round, but it's all good, man. Cicero's got a plan. It involves not just one intensive training, but multiple intensive training. Cicero's running a tight ship, man. It's a boot camp over here. You know what I'm saying? He is. The what is this? <laughs> what? Why, dude? Hang on. Is hang on, dude? Is this like? Is this like? A wrinkle brain strat way like you're expecting your opponent to go for the sentry missiles that I was just talking about. Oh my god! <laughs> oh god, dude. Alright, man. I needed this for my first game back, dude. Hey, sorry about the break, by the way, man. We got absolutely out of hand now uh, the past like four or five days. Crazy, crazy work hours, but I'm getting to a decent good recording session today, so I'm sorry if I missed any replays. I'm doing my best to catch up on all of the stuff that you guys have submitted recently. And this is a damn good one to come back with, dude. Are you kidding me, man? The Stang missile. Oh my god, does it shoot down both? I've got to slow-mo this a bit. Oh! <laughs> that makes it even better, dude. That makes it even funnier. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh. Dude, that's so funny. It's like we, we grew a wrinkle on our brain. And then it was immediately ironed out by the missile connections, dude. Are you kidding me with that? Oh, man, that's so funny. Okay, so blue absolutely landslides us on this side right now. How's our teammate doing over here? Oh, God, hang on. Is that all he's got left? Oh, my God, it's not going so good. Oh, no, hang on. These wasps are his. So they're going to do a little bit of something until they're not. All right, gone. Oh, Cicero, man, Cicero. Okay, dude. What? Hang on. Did these guys have levels from last round? Ooh, the first intensive training comes out. That's exactly what we needed to win this game, dude. Whoa, we got the cell on the stangs here, dude. Cicero wasn't happy with it, man. He runs a tight ship. Like I'm saying, dude, you mess up one time, those stangs, they failed to shoot down that missile. Oh, wow. Dude, what the hell? What, what? Hang on, do we already have multiple? We already have multiple intensive trainings? I didn't even notice that. Oi, 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 oi. But as I was saying, these stangs, man, they failed to do their job in the middle. Executed. They weren't just, like, decommissioned, you know? They weren't, like, retired. Like, all of their pilots were forcibly extracted. And bro, it was brutal. I ain't, I ain't gonna tell you what happened to him, man. Cicero's a savage. Okay. Anyways, new stangs come down. Surely these guys can now shoot the missiles down. <laughs> Surely, right? Oh my god, I love the commitment to just this hard vertical pattern. I almost want to see this for the rest of the game now. Get like more stangs here, and then another pack of crawlers here, then another set of steel balls. <laughs> and just have two big stripes of units. Oh man. I tell you what, that would be a really, really funny challenge to, to set for you guys, actually. If you can win the game by just placing only vertical patterns of units, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? That'd be so funny. Okay, anyways. 
Oh my god! How are those missiles? Dude, honestly, anti-missile tech on Stangs is so bad. It's really trash. So we're relying on the uh, Giga Chad Steel Balls right now. These are like the Marines. The Steel Balls over here, dude. Oh god, there's so many crawlers that they're attacking you too, though, dude. Oh, man. We do win this game. Do we turn this game around? Because this is a really bad start. Like, even the Scorpion's a really, really good buy as well from Blue over there to uh, deal with the Steel Balls, you know? Maybe we get, like, extended ball range or something in a little bit. Our teammate is really, really committing to the Wasp spam. He's actually going to take the win against his opponent over here, but there's just too many nerds left alive. These Stangs are going to come in and just get a good shot. Oh, God. Oh, scrap metal. This is brutal. It's a savage. Wait, what? Get him dead. I was about to end the round. All right, there it is. All right, man, Cicero, dude. We need some wrinkle brain action now, man. More than ever. What do we got here, man? Don't say another intensive training, dude. Because I think that genuinely we've got to get something that's actually going to win us a round right now. Couple rates. Okay, it's a unit selection round. Wraiths is a damn good pickup. I think that's pretty tight. I'd even consider picking up the Wraiths with um, armor. Because armor's only like 200 supply. You know what I'm saying? We get these guys right away? Yeah, the armor's only 200 supply. I feel like it's worth running. Because um, then it's basically just the three maximum units that can kill anything. Uh, uh, sorry, can kill either of the Wraiths, right? I would have get another pack of Stangs like here. To just like, please start shooting these missiles down, dude. Oh god, here we go again. Here we go again, dude. Like, okay, this time, this time it won't connect, man. I believe. Cicero's given these goddamn Stangs a firm talking to. He's shown them what remains, the bodies of the previous Stangs that failed him. And they're properly motivated now. Okay, they're properly motivated now. This time, this time it's gonna work. Dude, what is our teammate doing over here, man? Look at this. <laughs> Look at this flank action, dude. Oh my god. Okay, man, what do we get? Ooh, we go for the degenerate beam instead. Cicero, you absolute degenerate, man. Okay. Oh, hang on, what is this? What the hell, dude? I didn't even notice Blue went for this tech. So you not only selected the rhinos. Oh my god. Oh, the barrier's up, though. The barrier's gonna actually protect the all the nerds, right? Okay, yeah, 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 man. We'll just let that play out. You know what? It still actually gets to connect and kill like a reasonable amount of crawlers. But so we get the rhinos come out with uh, wreckage recycling men, which isn't really going to do a whole lot for them as long as they're hitting chaff. And the steel balls are going to annihilate them. I'm not really sure what the plan was for blue here behind these rhinos. That said, we have no idea what MMR this game is. Which you know what is the way we like it. To be honest, man, let's be real. I actually saw somebody asking in, like, uh, old chat today if there's a way to just manually and deliberately lower your MMR. Because, to be honest, all the fun stuff happens. I, I want to say, like, below 1,400, right? That's where, like, the crazy fun stuff happens, man. Once you get to, like, 1,500, 1,600 and, like, north of there, I feel like it's really, really hard, man, to, uh, to get the memes to work, you know? And to just get dumb stuff to work. And it's kind of sad, man. But that's like the effect that I guess MMR has on the game. Pros and cons, you know. Oh my god. Okay, we're <laughs> getting serious now. We really need to turn this game around. Okay, what options we got here? Well, how do we turn this game around? Moreover. We need some good chaff clear. We're relying on the wraiths right now, but they're kind of getting sniped. Ooh, double overlord's an option. Overlord Explosive Ammo, maybe. I've caught, well, okay, we go for the Melting Points. You know what, it's actually going to work out because our opponent went for Melting Points as well, so... I guess it's kind of going to work out. We have a bit more supply to spend here as well. Okay. I'd be very, very worried of... Oh, there's no self-destructing rhinos, never mind. There's the double upgrade on the Fortress, which, of course, every level... On our fortress, as you're upgrading these nerds, gives them increased barrier health. Oh my god. 
All right, dude. All right, man. Is this going to be enough? Is this going to be it? We go for range in the melting points instead of an additional fortress. Which, to be fair, again, against what our opponent's running, it's probably going to be a good thing. I probably would have risked it myself and just went for an additional fortress rather than a double upgrade on this guy. Like one upgrade here, another fortress for just an extra barrier. It's probably what I would have done, personally. But Cicero ain't here to play safe, man. Oh my god, okay. Barrier drops. Rhino's dying almost before they really get anything done. So the Steel Balls are finding their value, man. They're getting done what they got to get done. The Wraith is going to start to get mulched here just a little bit. Not able to kill all the crawlers before that happens. We have a pack of crawlers here that's causing a lot of distraction value. For blue. Fortress Barrier still alive and healthy though. Protecting Stangs and there's a lot of value in that. Barrier just now going to start to get melted. There it is. But it looks like the Fortress Barrier actually buys enough time for the Stangs to buy enough time. For the melting points, man. And oi, 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 oi. All right, there we go, dude. What do we got over here? Oh, my God. No. No, hang on. We don't just lose here, do we? Do these guys have range? Okay, the phoenixes don't have range. That actually helps quite a bit, because it means that the melting points get to connect from a more comfortable distance. Okay, now they should have this. Both melting points are still both extremely healthy, and this fortress is an absolute chungus. So it should buy us a good amount of time here. One Phoenix drops. Oh my god. Dude, this was too close, man. It still is really close, actually, because there's a lot of chaff on the ground. Ooh, gets to kill the Phoenix. That was a big kill. Okay. Oh, holy crap, man. That was real tight, man. Not gonna lie, dude. I thought for a second there it was over as I panned over to that side, but we hold on. Um... Options, advanced firepower control was an option. And therefore, obviously, Cicero is going to go for that. Oh my god. Did we just put firepower control on the melting point? And then energy diffraction on the melting points too? Oh my god. Is that even good? Like nerfing the range of the melting point by 30 meters like this? Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, it's a level 4 fortress now. That is big. So this melting point is an absolute killing machine. The problem is it's going up against a lot of scorpions, man. Oh, the scorpions don't have range or artillery yet. And for some reason, blue is not running acid shot scorpions. So maybe the scorpions don't have that much of a uh, that much of a chance at actually counteracting this melting point. We're purely just relying on the other two melting points here and here. Tell you what, uh, red could really, really benefit from some like crawlers here and like some crawlers here just to arrive nice and nice and uh, late to the battle would help them out a hell of a lot with keeping the melting point and the fortress barriers intact because they'd just be arriving in here like now moving on down in behind these guys might even help keep some of the steel balls alive to have late arriving crawlers too but alright man we are war of the worldsing the chaff down at a pretty efficient rate here once again, the Fortress Barrier is persisting for a long, long time. What the hell? Our teammates' phoenixes have come over to lend a hand. Oh, see, this is the problem, though, dude. His melting points will get to latch first if we aren't careful. This melting point has got to kill everything. Oh, my God, it's going to. Oh, my God. All right, dude. You know what? For five damage, you killed those guys pretty quickly. <laughs> Melting point stats never look that impressive, dude, because the way the damage works. All right, man. And oh my god. Hang on, these are all of our teammates' units as well. Mr. Teammate is actually doing pretty good over here. Cool. That's a pretty steep win. Okay, man. Is this it? Is it time, Cicero? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let me see. I just got to look at it for a second. There it is. Triple intensive training. I mean, what are we even doing with this? Do we just, like, level this and then, like, triple level it or something? Oh. 
Oh, what? What? What the hell just happened? How did... Uh, what? How many times did we level that, man? Oh, that was four times it already had a level ready to go, right? Oh, my God. Okay, from level two to level six in a single round. All eyes on this melting pot right now, dude. By the way, again, this is what I'm talking about, man. High MMR match. New tunnel. You know, like the price it takes to buy all those intensive trainings and then, you know, like the, the, the power you're giving up by just picking intensive training every round like this and the amount of supply it takes to do something like this. You just can't get away with stuff like this. Oh my god, hang on. Is this double orbital? It's double orbital bombardment that I'm seeing. What the hell, dude? But he only has one orbital bombardment. Can your teammate place abilities on your side of the map as well? You can tell I never play duos, man. I literally never play duos. I, I'm, I'm so bad. And understanding what the hell's going on in duos. But okay, the Bombard's gonna do a reasonable amount. We could still really do with another fortress over here, by the way, for just more barrier action. But alright, man. Okay, dude. All I care about, man, is this melting point right here. That's the only thing that matters to me. Do we push the enhanced range button? Oh my god, we didn't! Oh god, that might be the death of us! Then again, it is also healing via energy absorption. Oh, it has to connect quickly. Well, how quickly did it bend that thing down? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it just doesn't care, dude. It just doesn't care. Dude, it had no business killing that enemy melting point as quickly as it did. For a second, I thought, hang on, is one of the buildings dead? Like, how did that thing die so fast, man? But it turns out, level 6 melting point with advanced firepower control basically attacks... With, like, the best damage of an overlord, you know? Okay, man. Oh, no, this is a big win. We're not going to win yet, right? I want to see another round of this. Okay, good. Lovely. Nice, he gets into the level, man. All right, cool. Yeah, we definitely got to hit enhanced range and mobility in this round. You know what I'm saying? Quick sip of coffee while we wait for the options here. Ah. Oh, wow. Okay. Double level 9 marksman was an option. Because of course it was. Multiple nerds going for that. Sorry, Cicero, I don't mean to call your teammate a nerd. The Vulcans and the marksman. Okay, so Vulcans were actually an option, but we didn't go for them? Yeah, I gotta tell you, man. I, I, f I feel like the melting points are handling the giant killing side of things, and that also act pretty good as anti-air as well. I don't think I would have went for the Maxman. I think the Vulcan would have been pretty tight, to be honest. But all right, man. It's only a bloody level 7 melting point. Oh my god. This thing is lethal, man. Okay, so we did go for the, uh, uh, for the range enhancement. We also have the option here to borrow money, correct? we got to be borrowing money as well. And pushing the uh, high mobility button too. We're also still missing that back line of chaff. That would make such a big difference, man. Such a huge difference. Meanwhile, honestly, the chaff on blue side is pretty impressive. He's kind of lacking the forward chaff. Sort of funny. Both lacking in different ways. Alright, dude. The marksmen are kind of lethal, man. This melting point is just unbelievable. Oh, a lot of nerds gonna make it through. Is it actually gonna have what it takes here? We're running out of chaff on this side, man. This thing is very, very exposed right now. It's currently just burning down. Oh my god, okay, that makes a huge, huge difference. That buys us a lot of time over here. And with that, this thing is just... It's killed like half the army on its own already. Now it moves in for the enemy. Watch how quickly this thing dies, man. Oh my god. As I shut off the alarm on my phone real quick. Dude. It's actually a demon. And oi, 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 oi. That's gonna be all, man. Holy crap. Well, what a comeback game. There you go, man. You see intensive training? Pick it every single time. Pump it into a melting point. 
you win every game sometimes. There you go, man. And all right, man, you know what? I thought that we'd stick with the melting point theme a little bit in this video, man. We got Cicero once again. Just happens to be another Cicero replay, dude. I actually didn't plan for this at all, but scanning through the Discord, I spotted this one. Ooh. Oh, God. The opening storm is just absolutely slaughtering the um, unfortunately positioned Arclades here. So we're probably going to see that imbalance addressed in the upcoming round. Maybe with some, like, vertical pattern fangs or something right at the front just to kind of protect the Akis a little bit more. Either that or we just start selling them one by one and redistribute those resources. Cut our losses a little bit. One or the other. I think I just drop more chaff, personally. But alright, let's see what we got. Electromag impact, missile strike. I mean, probably missile strike. Ooh, electromag comes out from Cicero in the end. Okay. Crawlers... Forward crawlers, forward crawlers. Okay. Still have a bit of an issue of these guys connecting right away over here, I guess. If they pick up range. But they should keep them safe for now, though. Oh my god. Okay. Blue just going super, super, super heavy on the chaff, man. What's, what specials is Blue playing? Control, I uh, cost control special. So we obviously have the threat of missile here as well. Wow, blue actually holding on to missile. Gonna snipe one of those Pruin nerds right away. At least the crawler's gonna do their job, man. Which is just dodging the opening salvo. Of missiles. Acolytes might get a bit stuck here hitting into barriers. At least until the Stormy's gonna crack that. Pretty good, as long as we get both barriers dead here. As red, then we're pretty happy. Nice, okay, it just about goes down. All right, man. Huge, that's big, man. You always want to be getting the barriers down on the turn that they come down so that their health isn't resetting, which is just deeply, deeply unfortunate. All right. Stormcaller duel once again. Bloody Stormcaller's this starting unit, dude. Whoever thought that was a good idea. Okay. Laser sights. Well, Cicero's committing to it, dudes. I think incendiary bomb could have been really, really good here for Cicero, but he's going to go into the laser sights. What's it going to drop on, though? Nothing on the field is really particularly good with it. Going straight into replicating crawlers. Oh, at the same time as our opponent drops the Vulcan. Oh, my God. Well, that's just deeply, deeply unfortunate. Questionable crawler placement. Yeah, I was going to say, crawler surely back here or back here. For blue here would be much, much better. This is a damn good turn from blue, though. Damn well-timed Vulcan. To this stage that you start betting against Cicero, dude, with all the inside points. <laughs> Quick sip of coffee. Ah... All right. See how much these crawlers get done now, man. They gotta find a lot of value on the flanks away from the Vulcan while they can. They're gonna replicate like crazy over here, and if they can just squiggle through... Nice, they're actually gonna find really, really good value on either side. That's a huge deal. All right, man. That's a huge, huge deal. I actually didn't think they'd make it through there at all, but there you go. And as such, the Vulcan, powerful as it may be, just gets nothing done. Look at that crawler swarm, dude, by the end. Big, man. That did not go the way I anticipated. Okay, huge. We have Wraiths. Wraiths for blue could be pretty good. Really, really apt at bringing down a Crawler Swarm, protecting your Stormcrawlers. But Cicero straight into the level 5 Rhino. Did he sell that right away? Yeah, I think so too, man. Holding on to the Rhino. I mean, you can hold on to it for one round and then sell it. And yeah, blue goes into the Wraiths, which I'm guessing are going to be like here and here. I'd put them, like, here and here, personally. Try and just protect the bases from uh, rogue crawlers getting in. Oh, wow. Okay, well, if you're going to do this with the Vulcans and slam down two additional Vulcans with tech, I don't think I would have went for the Wraiths in, in that case. Because they're kind of doing the same job in the, uh, in this scenario. 
Incendiary bombs, by the way, are gonna miss, like, everything. Crawlers is too fast. But yeah, the Vulcans on the flank, look at that, kind of just do the job of the Wraiths. And don't care, man. Oh! So not only do we pick up the melting point, the Blazer Sight also goes here as well. So Cicero, man, not afraid to telegraph. Oh my god. We didn't sell the Rhino, dude. The Rhino was on the flank, I didn't even spot that, dude. I'm just the best caster. But yeah, Cicero not afraid to telegraph his melting point plans. It is his favorite unit, as we saw in that duos match just now. Still, hang on. No, this rhino's gonna kill everything, right? This rhino's gonna kill everything. This rhino can't be stopped. <laughs> oh man, okay, calculated. Huge. Sell on the rhino now would be enormous. Ooh, double fortress, dude. Ooh. Is red shooting? That's really good. Double fortress by the barrier right away. It blocks a lot of what the Vulcans are trying to do. Yeah, there it is. Melting point straight into diffraction, man. Oh my god. Dude. You really love this tech, man. I mean, I do too, don't get me wrong. Especially when you've got laser sights, it's just hilarious. It's just so funny, man. Range on the steel balls is Blue's answer, which should take care of the Rhino over here now, at least. I don't think this Rhino gets anything done. Yeah, it does not. does not even make it in. And all right, dude, look at this thing. Look at this thing, dude. Man, there's nothing more glorious in this game than an energy diffraction melting point with good range. It's actually just, I defy anybody to give me a, a cooler unit. Than this man. I mean, just look at it. Oh my god. It's actually killing really, really high value targets here as well. Wow, man. And it's barely moved either. Okay, it's gonna have to move a little bit now. Dude. Alright. Nuke, lightning storm. Cicero skips right away. He knows exactly what he wants to do. He sells the rhino over here. That's a ton of cash, dumps it instantly on energy absorption on the melting point. Keeping the raid boss theme going. Of course another melting point comes out. Which is just gonna chow down this Vulcan right away. How are these Vulcans still just undefended over here, man? Oh, Nusper, please. No, he's not even gonna defend the Vulcans. It's so risky, man. I mean, especially when your opponent is revealed. Melting points, right? This goddamn melting point is gonna try and take care of this guy. Are you actually kidding me, dude? No, 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 no. It's not gonna go down like that. Oh, okay, it might go down like that. Might go down like that. All right. This guy's gonna get a lot of things dead and start stealing health very, very quickly. Oh my god, it actually survives. <laughs> Wow, dude, the energy absorption actually keeps it alive. I guess it was stealing health by hitting the barrier at first. And then the Vulcan, and then so quickly after it already latched onto the enemy melting point too. Will it actually die here? Not even sure that it will. It gets these guys dead, right? Oh! Huge power struggle just there. No. No. Oh my god, dude, it's immortal. It's immortal. It's just... What did we just watch? What did we just watch, dude? Okay. Okay, this is... I mean, this is ridiculous. Improve firepower control on the on the mini-me melting point over here. We've got to get some fangs down here, right? Oh, we go for sledges. Okay. This seems like a more expensive variation of slightly superior chaff, in my view, but all good, all good. Oh, the Electro Mega starter coming out now, man. Serious business. I tell you what, though, an Overlord here and an Overlord here with uh, Ford on a mission can basically just cover everything with uh, Electro Mega immunity. Which, I don't know, could be pretty tight. I almost feel like also these uh, stormcallers can probably go now as well. 
to start like selling these things. Because I feel like once you have this much, like this many upgrades on the melters, like what are these storm callers really there for? You know what I'm saying? Ah, maybe I'm talking nonsense. Maybe they're okay against the fangs. But alright, man, here we go again. Ooh, our fortress over here getting absolutely slaughtered by the enemy melting point. <laughs> Both giants dropping in the middle extremely quickly. Look at this thing, dude. It's barely even getting any experience for that now, man. Barely even gets any XP. Already level 4, completely organically, no shenanigans. It's gonna mulch these guys long before they get to kill off these stormies. But alright, it's got us wet cut out for it now, man. No, it hasn't. The building just died. It's over. Okay, let's speed this up. Oh my god. There it is. Oh, it doesn't quite get a level. No, dudes. Ooh. Will anybody be dicey enough to go for the hackers here? Scorpions for blue. I really hope he has acid attacks on those scorpions. He does, right? He went for acid double shot. I almost feel like just acid and range is better. At this stage. Look at how close this maxman is doing, just desperately trying to get an electromag shot off of this guy, man. Oh my god. Alright. Looks like not much changing on the back lines. Alright, well, obviously this was the play. Just elite recruiting an absolute swarm of melting points here. 100 supply left. Either barrier here or range enhancement, I guess. Ooh. We just go for defense enhancement. All right. Fair enough, fair enough. We borrow a little bit of cash, pick up an upgrade. It's now a level 3 melter over here. All right, man. Oh, God. Zoomed in a little bit too far there. Okay, dude. So the good news is that this guy just isn't gonna- Ooh! Oh, look at the healing on this guy! Oh my god, dude! It died like seven times there, bro, but it actually managed to match the healing of the raid boss. Given it was only getting tagged by one beam, I mean, its days are still numbered. Because this guy connects and just absolutely fizzles him. This guy, again, the acid dude is doing a lot, man. Acid greatly increases damage taken. Not that you would have noticed on this level 3 melter over here. I mean, it didn't seem to actually do anything, to be honest. Dude. Building drops. Ned drops soon after. And Nuss was on the ropes, dude. Cicero not messing about. I mean, we're going to see... We may as well see the full tech now as well, right? Laser sights. Oh my god, another laser sight? Hang on, yeah. This, oh my... Oh! It's straight into Electromag Barrage. Dude. Where's that other laser sight going? It's got to go like over here, right? Or like this guy? I think on this guy is like just best in slot. It will latch on all these guys so, so fast, man. Okay. Oh my god, dude. Okay, we actually put on this guy, who we just leveled up to three as well. Dude, I think it actually instantly latches on all of these guys. Right? I'm almost more curious as to this side now compared to over here. We watched this one enough times. More acid coming out on the crawlers? Right. I tell you, I feel like Blue would really benefit from just a couple of elite uh, elite recruit phoenixes with range. You know? To snipe these guys down from afar. Especially if they're standing in acid, it might actually get something done. Okay, dude. Is this a triple latch here right at the start? Oh, no. There's a lot of crawlers placed here now as well. Okay. All right. Well, um, good luck, me. Trying to figure out what the hell is even going on here. Poor guy in the middle. A raid boss no longer. Ooh. This side actually losing, dude, on account of enemy electromag action. Oh my god, it's actually going to be quite a steep loss. Being out electromagged here, dude. Okay, you know what I'd do, dude? This next round, I'd sell whatever I need to sell. Borrow whatever I need to borrow. 
and just slam a couple of war factories with uh, anti-missile tech. We've got good space for them in between. Like one here. Ooh, no, we, ha we can't fit one here. Okay, we can fit at least one here and maybe, I don't even know, sell one of these guys and get one here. Wasps come down. Ooh, the wasps will actually do quite a lot, right? Yeah, there's not actually a lot that can kill the wasps. Just the fangs, pretty much. I mean, melting points can do it, but it's obviously horrible. But yeah, um, anti-missile on the war factories does actually shoot down the electromag barrage from melting points. So that'll probably be my go-to. Okay. Then again, maybe Cicero's uh, scarred by anti-missile techs. Ooh, we actually got him for the flank over here as well. Yeah, maybe he's just scarred, man. You know, it might even be worth mass recruiting here. Oh, we already did mass recruit. Okay. I was going to say maybe mass recruiting here and just plopping a unit of crawlers here. Just to absorb the initial electromag barrage on one side. And then eventually do the same thing over here as well. To absorb the uh, electromag shots. It'd be like a much, much more cost-effective way of doing it. But alright, dude. Ooh. We also need a subterranean blitz in our crawlers so that they make it through the fire. Because right now it just ain't happening. Melting points kind of shooting each other down here, but it looks like it's overall going to be a positive trade. Mostly because of the wasps on the side, which are just now dead. Uh, for red. Same thing over here as well. The melting point very, very distracted. They electromag the crap out of each other. We have a melter in the acid here. The last wasp going down. It's got to connect. Okay, just connect right now. Does it get this kill? No, the acid is just too much, dude. The acid is just too much. Oh, this guy's just sitting in acid as he kills a building. Is gonna explode. Dude, this is close, man. Big barrage coming out here. Where does it go? It doesn't hit the enemy melting point, but it's still just not gonna matter, man. Oh, then the acid actually ends up deleting himself. Oh, right, man, the acid has been a huge player. Absolutely game defining. Tech specialist, deployment specialist. Of course, this was gonna go deployment specialist. Obviously. But yeah, really, man, I don't know. I think, like, crawlers, like, here, so that they don't aggro the Vulcan. Crawlers here, crawlers here. Would be my play, I think. Okay, we just go for an absolute swarm of wasps. Feels pretty decent. We're just gonna stack those up on top of each other. Ooh, this is risky. It's real risky. How is Nusby going to take these fortresses? Surely he won't. Oh, wow. Okay, I really thought he'd go barrier and wouldn't go into anti-air barrage because you wouldn't expect more wasps uh, to come down. But all right. More wasps it is. Now, Nusby does also have the lightning storm, which does bear mentioning. Oh, wow. Super, super frontline wasps here going on as well. Just adjust the camera a little bit to try and catch everything here. Oh, the red boss in the middle. Not being connected on just yet, but it has to latch first, man, or the acid becomes a huge problem. Big electromagnetic barrage is going to shut it down. So it's basically screwed in the middle now, man. But where the chaff exists on the sides, there remains hope. Can I get this guy dead? That's big on the tech shut down. Okay, dude. It's four melting points versus everything that remains. This guy not an acid just yet, but it's just not gonna matter. This guy trading evenly. Okay, dude. So it's the laser sights melting point over here. Laser sights number two over here. That looks like it's gonna pretty much carry the day. Oh my god. Oi, 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 oi. What games, man? What games? Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you always did enjoy this happy little Melting Point Focus replay. And thanks to Cicero, man, for submitting those replays, man. Hey, if you've got some of your own insane, crazy, ridiculous replays, make sure to submit them, as always, in the Mechabellum Discord. 
in the share your replay section, which is always linked down below these videos. Man, I'm going to do my best to get to it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all did enjoy. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I catch all of you all a tad bit later, man.